Imagine a town ablaze for over six decades. Welcome to Centralia, Pennsylvania, a place where the ground beneath your feet has been on fire since 1962. In the heart of the Keystone State, nestled amidst rolling hills and quaint countryside, lies a town unlike any other. Centralia's story begins innocently enough with the good intentions of its people. In preparation for Memorial Day celebrations, a landfill was set ablaze, a common practice to tidy up the town, but this was no ordinary fire. Unbeknownst to the well-meaning townsfolk, this blaze would find its way to an exposed vein of coal, sparking a subterranean inferno that would endure for more than 60 years. The local and state government, perhaps in disbelief or denial, vastly underestimated the gravity of the situation. Their response, unfortunately, was as ineffective as trying to extinguish a bonfire with a water pistol. And so began the eternal flame of Centralia, a fire that even today shows no signs of stopping. As the years rolled on, Centralia began to feel the heat. Literally. The once thriving town was now at the mercy of an insatiable inferno beneath its feet, turning the dreams of its residents into ashes. The fire, which had started in an abandoned coal mine, began to show its destructive power. Foundations weakened, buildings crumbled, and life as the town knew it was changing drastically. The air, once fresh with the scent of blossoming flowers and morning dew, was now tainted with dangerous gases. Carbon monoxide, a silent killer, seeped into homes, forcing families to flee. The once bustling streets were now filled with an eerie silence, broken only by the crackling of the unseen fire beneath. One incident that shook the town to its core was the near fatality of a 12-year-old boy. Playing in his backyard, the ground beneath him gave way to a sinkhole, a chilling reminder of the fire that raged below. It was a terrifying wake-up call, a stark realization of the danger that lurked beneath the seemingly peaceful town. As the years passed, more sinkholes appeared, swallowing up parts of the town and contributing to the mass exodus of its residents. The town, once home to nearly 3,000 souls, was now a dangerous no-man's land. By 1980, Centralia had become a ghost town, its streets empty and buildings abandoned. The flames had claimed not just their homes, but their way of life. Fast forward to 2024, and Centralia is still burning, but remarkably, it isn't entirely deserted. Amidst the smoke and ashes, a band of eight stalwarts continue to call this infernal landscape their home. These are the last residents of Centralia, a group that has defied the odds and the government, refusing to abandon their beloved hometown. Who are these eight defiant souls? They're people just like you and me, but with an unshakable bond to their roots, a bond so strong that it withstands even the relentless blaze beneath their feet. They've seen their neighbors leave, watched their town crumble, yet they remain as constant as the fire that rages beneath them. In 2013, these eight residents found themselves embroiled in a legal battle against state officials determined to evict them from their smoldering town. But love for their home proved stronger than any lawsuit. After a protracted struggle, a settlement was reached, a victory for these residents. The agreement allowed them to stay in Centralia for as long as they lived, and even included a cash payout. But it's not about the money. It's about home. It's about a connection to a place that, for all its danger and desolation, remains their own. Against all odds, Centralia remains home to these eight defiant souls, a testament to their unwavering attachment to their roots. Before we leave this smoldering town, let's fan the flames with 10 burning facts about Centralia. 1. Centralia, once a bustling coal mining town, is now the least populated municipality in Pennsylvania. 2. The fire that's been burning beneath Centralia since 1962 has turned it into a ghost town. 3. It's estimated that the fire could continue to burn for hundreds of years. 4. Centralia was the eerie inspiration behind the horror video game and film series Silent Hill. 5. In 2013, the remaining eight residents won a lawsuit against state officials, securing their right to live there for life. 6. These residents also received a cash payout as part of their settlement. 7. The fire started in a landfill before spreading to the coal mines. 8. The smoke from the fire can still be seen rising from cracks in the ground. 9. The town's zip code was revoked in 2002. And 10. Despite the danger, some tourists still visit Centralia each year. 
And there you have it, 10 scorching facts about Centralia, the town that's been on fire for over 60 years. Until next time, keep the fire of your curiosity burning bright.